Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to identify or how we can configure corporate owned devices within Intune portal as Intune admin. Now, if I navigate to Intune and Intune overview and then followed by Intune device enrollment, under this you have a uh, you have an option here to configure uh, corporate device identifiers. In this corporate identify or device identifiers, this is where you're going to import the corporate devices which you own. Uh, to explain more on this, uh, for example, you or your companies already bought some of their licenses or some of the devices directly from a manufacturer, for example, maybe from Apple Store you ordered maybe hundreds of uh, devices in that situation you are gonna get it delivered before delivering they would be giving a sample file to uh, with the all the invented information like IMEA numbers or maybe serial numbers and that information you can import directly from here so that it makes easy for us to enroll or we can categorize the devices whatever the devices are enrolled uh, within the Intune can be easily categorized as either these are personal or corporate. We can import corporate device identification for example clicking on add you can upload CSV format I have created a, a normal CSV format file uh, with the serial number and the device details for example I can say that uh, this could be maybe Android device uh, one maybe device one or maybe other one would be the device two something like that and I can save these and simply import uh, with the serial number mechanism and uh, this information will be provided by your manufacturer when you buy this uh, it has been accepted the CSV format normally this CSV format will be uh, in a format uh, where you need to provide in the left side of your IME number or maybe serial number. Let me show you the file by opening once again. In the left side you can write up here maybe IME number or maybe your serial numbers and this could be your device uh, name. Uh, that's it. Uh, you can have this file to be created and this can be maximum of 5000 devices or maybe a 5 MB uh, it can be that means 5000 rows can be uh, written in this fo format and, is, in, and the file should be saved as a CSV format that should uh, work for us so simply add so it's going to be added those devices and if I uh, quickly refresh uh, and I'm gonna get it these devices information in a minute or so just is the refresh and I'm able to see these uh, devices now it's showing as a uh, these are already now imported and it is ready for you utilizing. In this case, uh, it's showing us the IME uh, method what we have imported. If the same similar devices, if we are trying to enter manually, you can always enter maybe serial number or whatever you want. The details information, for example, I can here enter a 14 digit complete number and then uh, it's like the length of number and the device name may be a device as maybe iOS and that how you can enter the manually and that would appear in a minute or so if I just refresh one more time uh, it would appear now right yeah I'm able to see here and this is how you import um, either CSV format or manually in the CSV format you have option for IME based input or maybe serial number based so you should be selecting uh, whatever the method you are prefer and based on that you can import it oh, one more final configuration if you have already enrolled any of the devices you should be able to get them uh, from Intune devices inside these devices you can go to the properties of that device and device ownership and then we would be able to see whether it's going to be personal or corporate in fact we would be demonstrating that in the upcoming demo the takeout of this lecture would be as into an admin you can create and import the comma separated value or CSV file uh, that can list uh, maybe four digit uh, IME number or it can be serial numbers and you can import those uh, CSV format file or you can create manually uh, the required file or you can import you can create manually the uh, devices information and that makes easy for you to uh, further level uh, to identify whether these devices are 
corporate owned or maybe a personal devicement if it is a personal devicement you can block them this way you can isolate your corporate devices and personal devices and you can also block the enrollment process altogether thank you for watching this